Hey guys, Joe here in the studio. I'm gonna tackle a really simple DIY project. I'm making a portable campfire grill. The best part, aside from the expanded metal that I picked up from the hardware store, everything else I'm using was scrap metal around the shop. Basic design, this will become our grilling surface. I'm gonna take some angle iron, make a frame around that, and then that frame will be attached to a stake that you can plunge into the ground and swing over any campfire that you're around. Pretty simple idea, pretty straightforward. Let's get to cutting and get to building. All right, so at this point, everything is cut down. It really just needs to be welded into place. The angle iron, each corner was notched for 45 degrees, so now it creates a tray. Now you can see that the expanded metal sits in there nicely. Just need to weld the perimeter and get this tray solid. Once that tray is solid, this little sleeve right here is gonna weld on to the edge like that. Drill that, drill the side of that, to accept this nut and bolt. Essentially, that will become how we lock it into place on the upright pole. I'm going to weld the nut to the outside of the sleeve, weld this piece of round stock to the head of the bolt, create a bit of a T-handle, so then this will go in this. When you find the height you want, you can tighten it down, and bada bing. Now, as you can see, but this is the end that will plunge into the ground. And in addition to that, I created this little dog leg out of some other round stock that will help keep it from just spinning freely inside the ground, as well as this part right here will kind of be a little, little platform for you to step on so you can really get it down in there. So, like I said, that's essentially all the pieces laid out. Just time to kind of fine fit it, a little grinding, and welder home, so.
Well, there you have it. Quick and easy project I was able to knock out in pretty much an afternoon and with essentially just scraps I had around the shop. So for more information on the tools we use to build this, be sure to visit eastwood.com.